afterwards. Um, some people are saying run around, star jumps, um, running up and down, you know, after they've, they've got dried and dressed. Um, what, what's your advice on this? Is there, is, could that be dangerous or? Um, provided you've come out of the water and you've only been in a short period of time, and we're talking about five, ten minutes, you know, um, and therefore you won't, you won't have cooled your deep body temperature very much. What you will have cooled is your skin and some of your superficial tissues. Um, if you start, I mean, yes, I mean, the thing to do is to, is to get warm um, relatively quickly. You've got to be very careful with rewarming advice because you certainly wouldn't, you know, if you're cold to the point of somebody being semi-conscious, but I don't, you know, we're, we're, we're way away from that. So somebody who's just been in the water for a, a few minutes can come out, they can exercise, they can sit in a hot bath, um, they can put clothes on and exercise. Um, they might get, if they, if they start exercising and using muscles they weren't using in the water that have cooled a bit, they might get a continued fall. But it's not going to go to a, a, an area where it's, prob, where it's problematic. If somebody's, if you're taking somebody, I, I, you know, because lots of the other talks I, I do are much more involved with people's survival when you're taking people out of the water who are unconscious or semi-conscious and in that situation passive um slow rewarming is the way to go but that's a different scenario so somebody who's just been in for a few minutes in cold what you're really trying to do is raise the skin temperature to get them as comfortable as possible as soon as possible yeah yeah good answer